Hello and welcome, Dirty William here with a build video. So, we are transferring from Wayfinder to the Orion server, and I would like to have some mules that have enough bank space. I found a thread on Reddit that basically outlines some stuff you can make. <clears throat> um, a lot of people use Sorcerer. I went with Warlock, and I kind of took some of their ideas and put it into a Warlock uh, build. Um, and I thought I would share it with everybody in case somebody wanted a quick and easy farmer. Um, Sorcerer is supposed to be faster. Um, but I can't manage my spell points as a sorcerer, so I went with Warlock because it's just mouse one, kill stuff, throw down an Evards, done, right? So uh, we're going to start with an Iconic. We are going to go to Morning Lord because we're going to start off as a Morning Lord. Uh, let's see, we are going to, let me pull up my actual build here, lol, that I have. Uh, let's see, strength, dexterity, we're going to go to 10. Constitution is only going to be 14. <clears throat> Intelligence, we're going to bump it up to 12. Wisdom, uh, we don't do anything to, so leave that alone. <laughs> Charisma, we're going to go to 18. And as you can see, I have some extra build points, uh, two build points. Um, basically, you want to get your Charisma max, then Constitution, and then hopefully summon Intelligence, but uh, don't go above 14. You don't really need it that much. Since I have two extra build points, I'm going to throw that into Strength for a little bit of extra carrying capacity. Uh, let's see, so we're going to go with Concentration, uh, Spellcraft, and then scroll on down here to UMD, because on the Warlock levels we are going to put some UMD in, in case you want scrolls and stuff. You could forego that, and if you wanted to, you could put into Swim, but it's a cross-class skill and blah blah blah. So, I just do UMD because it makes it easy. But effectively, this character is going to be a bank tune. It's not going to play anything except for these quests to get the favor for a portable hole. Uh, the bank favor, uh, like personal bank space, and then um, the backpack space for coin lords, and that's pretty much it. Uh, <clears throat> so level one, again, we have to start off as a cleric. Uh, we're going to run down here and take Empower a Spell. Scroll all the way down to our class feet here, which is favored by Amanator, which doesn't really do anything for us, but we got to take something. We get some spells that we're not going to be able to cast, so there's that. I'm going to change this to neutral, um, randomize this guy, and sure, why not? And I'm going to get him named here. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. I don't think I've created this. Yeah, okay. So here we are. Got a bunch already here that I've already made. <clears throat> Those are for various things. First one I made was this one, and it was uh, Fae Pact, and it didn't really do so great. I got it parked over at the resort spa because it's done. It's got the bank uh, space and everything. Uh, all these except for the one I just created and one other, I've run through everything that I need to run through. But I want to show you guys how to how I'm basically leveling this build. So we're going to go Inta. And I am VIP, so I have access to all the things and stuff like that, so this is not a thing where if you don't have access to Iconics, you're not going to be able to do that. The VIP, I'm not so sure if that's gonna really going to affect anything or not. Uh, I don't think it should, uh, but I do have access to uh, various bank space and, and uh, or platinum bank space and things like that. So... Your mileage may vary, but this is what I've been doing. Uh, let's see, we're going to make a bunch of hard bars. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, let's see, UI, layout, load, Adora Bill, which is my main character. So I saved my UI, so all I have to do is just do this, drag these guys over as such-ish, kind of. Get rid of all this, don't really need it. I'm not going to be using it. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I will put this on the hotbar just because. And now I'm going to go over and speak with Elminster. And I'm going to refuse training, right? So that basically means that I can level up in whatever class that I want. So I'm going to exit the tavern here. I am going to pull up this so I have access to my pony. And you can see I got a bunch of stuff from various packs that I've bought, which I'll go through in a few minutes here. Again, your mileage may vary on that stuff, depending on what you have. But basically, I'm going to run over to the trainers, and uh, over here in Evening Star, <clears throat> whenever I get there, I will show you how to level this build up. So here we are at the trainer, uh, the Warlock trainer here in Evening Star. I'm going to speak with her, advance to the next level as a Warlock. Yes, I wish to train with you. 
I'm going to do standard Warlock, not the Acolyte of Skin, uh, just because I've, I've not tried it with that, so I'm just going to be all regular. We're going to go Concentration, Spellcraft, and UMD. Those are the three skills that you want to upgrade. Again, UMD, you're not really going to be scrolling anything, so you don't need to have that. You can put it in something else if you want to, but Concentration, Spellcraft are very important. Um, let's see, we're going to scroll down and take Maximize. Maybe? Are we? No, no not, that's level three. Scroll down, and we're going to take Pact Fiend. So they would do that. We're going to choose our first spell, which is going to be Jump, Finish, keep talking to her and leveling up as Warlock. Again, Skills, Concentration, Spellcraft, UMD. Go to Next. Now we get to choose a feat, which is all the way down here. Uh, I'm going to take Maximize. There it is. Maximize. Next spell I'm going to take is Night Shield, which is somewhere. There it is. Night Shield, finish. Now, uh, whenever you <clears throat> get to levels 4, uh, 8, 12, you're going to put your point into Charisma every time. Again, Skills, Concentration, Spellcraft, UMD, finish. Oh, picked the wrong thing. There we go. Advanced to the next level is a Warlock, same skills as before. Warlock feats, it's just a thing you have to, I'm not sure why this is not automatic and you have to choose it. There's nothing else to choose. It seems kind of strange to me. Next spell we're going to take is Blur. Uh, so this is going into level 5. We're taking uh, Blur. Advanced to the next level is a Warlock. And it's just, it's sickening how long this process takes, but it is what it is. Uh, class feed, I'm going to scroll all the way down and go ahead and pick that up. We're going to get Rage for, for that. <clears throat> I am going to choose uh, Quicken for my next feat. Quicken, boom. Next, finish. Advance to the next level as a Warlock. Same skill points, or same skills. Another feat that we have to choose, even though it should just be automatic. I'm not sure why that is, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to level 8, so we need to choose Charisma as our level up point. Same skill points. Uh, this time we are going to take Dimension Door as our spell. Finish. All this will be down in the description, by the way. I'm just kind of running through it, so in case you want to watch this or slow it down or what have you. Again, Class Feat, I'm going to scroll all the way down. Take this this level we are going to take something different. We're going to go into level 9 here, <clears throat> and this is your mileage may vary kind of a thing. I am taking SU materials. It increases the spell cost of my spells, but I don't need spell components, which is great because I don't want to have that extra stuff and take the time to, I gotta go buy spell components or pull them out of the bank. Even though I'm gonna be at the bank to get some gear, I'm not, I don't really care about messing with that. Um, <clears throat> then I gotta sell this stuff off or put them back in the bank, whatever. I guess you could do that one time and then take something else like toughness, maybe? Uh, for this spell, I'm gonna, or yeah, this uh, level, I'm gonna take spell invisibility. Again, your mileage may vary. I've been using it in diplomacy and it worked out pretty well, but you can take something else if you want to. And use pots or something like that. Um, since I'm coming from a server, or onto a server, uh, Orion, which I have no uh, dealings with. I don't really have a lot in the bank or anything like that, so I'm just kind of going it alone and doing the best I can with this Warlock build. Um, the feat, again, it's not auto-granted. We have to choose this for whatever reason, so okay, we'll choose that. We are now level 10, going into level 11. Same skill points, no changes there. Warlock feats, choose that one, because it's the only one you can. This spell, <clears throat> we're going to take Evard's Black Tentacles, finish it up. We are level 11 going into 12, so we're going to increase our Charisma. Concentration, Spellcraft, and UMD, as we have been doing. Uh, this one, we are going to take, or I have been taking, Toughness, just for a little bit of extra spell points. Feel free to take whatever else you want, it's whatever. Displacement is the spell that I chose at this level. We're now level 12, going into level 13. We're almost done, we're getting there, we're so close. Finish Resilience as a class feat, <clears throat> finish it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're level 13, going into 14. Concentration, Spellcraft, UMD. 
And the last spell we want to take is Finger of Death. Now your Finger of Death might not land very well, so if any of these other ones you might want to take, like Shadow Walk, that will get you from place to place pretty pretty quick. You can also take Tensors if you wanted to. That does uh, make your cooldowns on your spells longer. Um, I just took Finger of Death just in case it lands. I can try to kill something quickly. Or you could also take Greater Teleport, which is good for getting around here and there. Um, I've done both, and it's kind of a wash in my opinion. Uh, go to next, and we finish. So now we are level 14. We don't want to level up to 15 with the Warlock Trainer. We're going to go right next door here to the Barbarian Trainer. The reason we're doing that is Barbarians get a 10% run speed bonus. So you're moving around a little bit faster, which makes you you know, level faster, basically. Um, as you can see, all of these are cross-class skills, so I'm going to take Concentration, Spellcraft, and uh, instead of UMD, I'm just going to put a little bit of extra into Jump. You could take any of the other things, like Swim. Swim might be a thing, because you're going to have the Jump spell. It's not going to... It's going to be negligible difference, pretty much, but um, I'm still taking Concentration, Spellcraft. The other two points you can use, uh, or the other point, rather, you can use whichever you want. Uh, let's see, for this one, I am going to take, what does my list say? Ah, yes. Uh, I'm going to take Force of Personality just so it will help out my um, will saves. It uses my Charisma modifier instead of my Wisdom. My Wisdom is in the tank, so take that. So kind of avoids some bad things that might happen to me. And that's pretty much it. So, all right, I've advanced to level 15. Now I can open this up. This is my little gearbox. Whenever you get to level 15, you get all the goodies in the world. So I'm going to pretty much equip everything except for the weapon, the heavy armor, uh, the shield. If you do not have a decent item for combustion, feel free to use this. That's a decent uh, item that you get right off the bat, which is why I chose Morning Lord. It gives you some Radiant Spell Power and some Combustion, which you're going to be using for this character. Uh, let's see, I'll spin my pretty face around here. Put on the rest of my gear. Ta da! Put on my shoes. There we go, and looks good. I still have these things that I need to open up, but I'm not going to do that necessarily on camera. It just gives me some extra stuff, which I really don't uh, care about. Main thing is, I want to start setting up my spells and, and my hotbars and stuff. These spells for Cleric, I'm not going to be able to even use except for this one. Um, I have been turning on Empower and Maximize on these uh, and Quicken, just so I can... Okay, I need a little quick emergency heal or something. It heals for about... 30 to 35 ish you know so it's not not too bad um the way i set up my hot bars is my personal preference and this is obviously something that you don't have to do this way this is just the way i do it but i do tend to um set it up with this way for every single life uh, i'm going to put this down here fire shield is going to go over here uh, Evards goes in spot number five, and Finger of Death spot number seven, because why not? Um, I want to go into my feats, go down here and pick my, pick my Fiend Pact, and I'm going to go ahead and activate that, so that is done and out of the way. I'm going to choose my uh, Focus Blast right there, and now I'm going to go into my Enhancements and get those things set up. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it defaults. Since you're starting off as a cleric, it's going to default you to all the cleric things. So I kind of changed stuff around here so that I don't have to add additional things over here. I actually have these two backwards. It should have been Soul Eater and then Enlightened Spirit. It doesn't really matter too much just as long as you, you take the things. This is what I found that, that I enjoy. Uh, the Soul Eater, I want to put a bunch of points in here because that's going to be my bread and butter and give me the stuff that I really want. Um... Again, take a look at the, um, take a screenshot, something like that. You'll be able to follow this along, but I'm basically dumping a bunch of points into this because I want to have Eldritch, Eldritch Blast Shaped Cone. I'm going to increase my Charisma a couple points so I can have those things. <clears throat> I'm going to upgrade these and that. And let's see, uh, no, not Immortal Will. I think I usually take something in here. It doesn't really matter, but just something that's like a point. Bluff Haggle Diplomacy. 
<clears throat> Taint of Blood, sure why not, because I need to spend at least 30 points to get up into this area. So taking this will lock you out of the other two trees in the top, and that's perfectly fine because we don't really need those. I'm going to take all these things. Uh, I think I had been taking Finger of Death, but I'm going to move back over here to Tainted Scholar because there's some points that I want to spend over here. Again, your mileage may vary. You take whatever that makes you happy. Um, Let's see, I think I took a point into that. I definitely want the strong packed stuff. And okay, that looks to be pretty much it. I want to say, let me go ahead and accept. I want to say that, yeah, my charisma is an odd number. I pretty much had to spin points in this. So if you don't want that extra point of charisma, take something else over here, like this, for example, the Tate the Aura, that reduces uh, the spell resistance, PR and MRR. So it's not too bad at all. That might be a thing to, to take instead. Uh, now I'm going to get all the rest of my enhancements set up here. And the main thing... Oh, this goes over. Yeah. Uh, actually, this goes there, and that goes there. And then Utter Dark Blast goes here. There we go. <clears throat> and again, the the nice thing about the hot bars is you can set them up however you want. This is just what I've used for mine. But the main things that I want to show off is... I set my Empower, Maximize, and Quicken to Always On on all three of these first slots here, and <clears throat> I actually put um, put that on here as well. <coughs> Excuse me, on my uh, my my uh, displacement. But the reason is this is a lot faster to uh, and obviously more damage and stuff when you're using these these dot type of things, these SLAs. So I always turn these things on. You could always just drag your, your uh, feet. The empower maximize all that stuff over here and do that as well but speaking of feats the main thing one of the many main things that you need to is get your issue materials and stick it on the hot bar and turn it on because we don't want spell we don't need spell components for any of these spells once this thing is active pretty much uh so that's pretty much it um after this guy is leveled up, then I usually go to the bank. I pick up my gear, uh, which is basically two items, maybe a third one if I for, if I have the armor in the bank. <coughs> um, Warlock can use a light armor with no arcane spell failure, uh, so I have that usually in the bank, and it gives me a better armor class, and I won't take as much damage. And then I pull some money out of the bank, just so I have some funds to go out and buy... I think it's a level 14 hireling uh, that gives uh, Death Ward mass, and I like that. You can use whatever you want, or if you have Death Ward clickies, if you're playing on a server and you just want a a thing that you can use to... Uh, it's very fast farming up uh, your 400 favor. You get a little bit over 400 favor, but it's uh, also very good as a, a bank mule. It takes a couple hours. If you're in a group, it's going to take less time, obviously, but uh, it works really well. I enjoy it, and I'm going to run this character to get their portable hole, to get their bank space, and get their backpack space, and this is going to hold all of my um, Feywild stuff uh, on this uh, server in Orion. So, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, post down below. There's more information down there in the description. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William, doing the dirty work.